Linda Lavin and Vic Tybeck and uh, great show. And Mindy Marin Amazing. was the casting director. And one morning, Mindy Marin called me at home. This was back in the old days where, you know, we didn't have iPhones or no texting. <laughs> she called me on the phone and said, Stephen, we've had a problem with our caveman, Carl. Uh, our caveman, Carl, uh, can't do the show today. Now, Caveman Carl, if you people remember the last generation, he was like a Wolfman Jack. He was like a crazy rock and roll DJ. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, and I had wild hair back. Oh, yeah, mama. So they, they lost their Caveman Carl, and they said, can you come in, read with Beth Howland, who's in our cast, and for the director and the producer, they give you the thumbs up. You're going to go straight into costume, wardrobe, I mean, great in the costume, makeup and hair, and you're going to perform this afternoon in front of a live audience. Like, will you be able to do that? Wow. And I go, you bet. You bet, Mindy. So I, and this is back, you know, there was no internet, so I had to drive over to the studio to get the script. <laughs> right. You, you know, there was no, like, sides coming over yeah. the, the internet. So I had to drive over to get my script, and I'd go have breakfast, and I'm learning the caveman Carl scene as, as best I can. And I go over that afternoon, and I get the job, and that afternoon I was caveman Carl on the, on the show Alice. It was my first uh, TV sitcom job. And I thought about it while I'm talking to Justin and Justin's father. Wait a minute. Mindy Marin never called me in to audition for Caveman Carl when she was originally casting the role. Uh, I didn't audition for this part. I had only auditioned for Mindy Marin maybe five times in my life, and each time was a failure. Yeah. Each time, no callback, no pat on the back, attaboy, you did a good job, maybe next time. Nothing, nothing, nothing. So as an actor, I thought failure, failure, failure. I am so far away. Every time I audition, I get nothing, nowhere. Mindy Marin called me at home on the phone, not because of my successes, but because of my failures. As an actor, I was unaware that my failures had made an impression on her to such an extent that when her back was against the wall, she called me. Wow. So we don't know the effect we have on our motion through the world. Our, our sense of what is success or failure is completely wrong. We may be making a great impression on people, even though, like, you know, when you were a chef, you may have made a great impression on people with your ability to think and speak on your feet, which makes you a great podcaster. Yeah, that's you, you know, exactly it. Yeah. You, you may have dealt with a lot of people in a lot of different situations, and you, you handle it without stress and with a lot of ease, which makes you a great host. You, you know, so all of this, we don't know really where we get the building blocks for the next toy we're going to build. We wow. don't know. We don't know where it comes from. So that's why it's important to just keep doing it. And, and just right. as a final addendum on this, when I was teaching uh, comedy and improv, I kept making the assignments really simpler and simpler for the people in my class. Like, I'm gonna give you commercial copy, here it is. Like, I didn't say go find a commercial from a magazine. You know, <laughs> you know, no, here, I'm giving you the copy, uh, record three versions of this on your phone and bring it back on your phone because everybody's attached to their phone. How many, what would you say the percentage of the people in my class are who would do their assignment? Whoosh. They're adults, right? They're adults. Yeah, so adults. I'm, I'm going to say, well, to me, it makes a difference. I'm going to say half. Yeah, I would say half, 5%. About wow. 5%. Wow. 95% just didn't do it. <laughs> Holy and so, cow. That's crazy. One of the things about being an actor, being a podcaster, being a chef, being anything, is you have to do it. And if you do it, you're already at the 95 percentile mark because the wow. other people are just binging Netflix. That's crazy. They are just there. They're just there. Have you seen The Queen's Gambit? 
<laughs> Boy, is it good. <laughs> you, you know, the rest, oh, you know, totally. we, we, you know, like me today, I am going to not be doing it. I'm probably going to be watching the golf tournament. You know, I'm going to be watching the PGA. That's when, I, but I'm going to go, boy, man, did you, as opposed to doing it, I could be actually working on something today, but I'm probably going to not do that. Yeah, you know, I'm going to not do it. Oh, come on. You've, uh, <laughs> you've put in the work, Steven. Let's be real here. Let's be real. You deserve uh, to kick back. That's when you deserve to kick back. You've put in the work. Yeah, you deserve a break today. That, you know, I'm, um, I find that when I get like these, I, I get these auditions now that are via Zoom or, you know, everything is virtual. Yeah. And casting directors totally. will send me some kind of instruction or whatever. And then I'll write back to them and say, could you be more specific? Can you be more detailed? What exactly are you looking for? What exactly are you not looking for? And they respond to me, thank you for asking. Uh, you know, we try to do this quickly because we know people are so busy. But yes, let me explain what people. And then I do the audition, and then the casting director t texted me back and said, why did you ask me those questions? I said, because it's not about me getting the part or not getting the part. What I rehearse is, is blowing it off. When you rehearse blowing it off, you will blow it off in the future. When you rehearse doing due diligence, and doing the best you can on an audition, then you will be, you will be laying that track for, for the rest of your life. And with the auditions, which I'm getting, it's so easy to blow things off in the pandemic. Sure. I don't want to blow it off. I want to do it the best I can so that if, you know, I have an audition for another great show, like one day at a time or something like that, I've worked at not blowing things off. And th I've done my rehearsal and, and I've done the right thing. That's yep. what I want to practice during the pandemic. That's the whole, right? What you do in your day is, what you, is how you live your lifetime. That's it. I mean, that's the perfect example. Perfect wow. example. Call back. Perfect yeah. example. Perfect yeah. example. What you do in your day, you do in your life. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. So wow. if you practice being a lazy bum, you will be a lazy bum, but you That's will right. be the best lazy bum you <laughs> could be.